Hey everyone, ready for a deep dive into something a little different. Today, we're going to be exploring what it takes to add a second story to your home. Interesting, right. Yeah, and, uh, and get this. Our source material is a YouTube Live video. Yeah, a YouTube Live video. Yeah. It's not your typical blueprint deep dive. No. We've got an architect, Ben Stout, right. actually designing a second story edition for a client. Uh-huh all live for his YouTube audience. It's wild. And Ben's a lot more than just, you know, an architect on paper. He's actually out there building, too. Yeah. And he throws in, like, real estate advice yeah. while he's sketching. Yeah, not really sketching, yeah. You think watching someone draw wouldn't be that exciting. Wow. But trust me, this video is full of surprises. It is. It is. What's really interesting is that Ben actually started his career as a carpenter. Oh, so he's got that hands-on experience, yeah. not just the theory. Exactly. How do you think that plays into his designs? Well, it gives him this practical perspective that you don't always see from architects. Right. He understands how things actually get built, not just how they look on paper. Uh-huh. And that definitely influences his um, another story system. The another story system, okay. Another story system. That sounds intriguing. Is this like a secret formula for building upwards? It's more like a brilliant solution to a common problem. Okay. Think about it. Adding a second story usually means major disruption. Yeah. Maybe even having to move out while construction's going on. Oh, yeah. Ben's system actually allows you to stay in your home the entire time. Hold on. That sounds too good to be true. How? I know, right? Yeah. The key is that they build the entire second story shell over the existing roof. Wait, so they're like building a house on top of a house? Pretty much. Right. And once that new shell is in place, they carefully remove the old roof from underneath. Okay. It's ingenious, really. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. But I have to ask, what exactly does he mean by shell? I'm picturing like a giant turtle shell on a roof right now. Not quite. Okay. The shell is basically the structural framework of the second story. Okay. Think the walls, the roof, the floor, all the bones, so to speak. But before they add things like drywall, or paint. Gotcha. So the homeowner is basically living under this new second story shell while they're finishing up the old roof underneath. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. And you can imagine how much stress and disruption that eliminates, especially for families. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And we actually get to see this system in action in the YouTube video, right? Yep. Ben is designing a second story for a home in Alabama. Okay. It's a smaller house, about 900 square feet. Mm -hmm in a neighborhood where most homes are much bigger. So it's a great example of how you can maximize your property value without having to move. And it sounds like the homeowner for this project is pretty handy too. Right. He's taking a DIY approach. Ben is just designing and building the shell, and the homeowner is going to finish out the interior himself. That's awesome. Yeah. It shows how flexible this system is, whether you're going all in on you know a high-end renovation or taking a more hands-on approach. But Back to the actual construction for a second. When I think about adding a second story, I always wonder about the foundation. Can it even handle that extra weight? That's a great question. And it's something that Ben addresses head on in the video. Okay. He's very clear that you can't just stack a second story on top of any house. Right. It has to be structurally sound from the ground up. So it's not just about the design of the addition. It's about the foundation too. Absolutely. <laughs> and he also dispels a common myth. Mm -hmm. that you can just reinforce existing ceiling joists to support a second story. Joists. Joists, yeah. <laughs> okay, but for those of us who aren't, you know, construction experts, what exactly are joists? They're the horizontal beams that support the ceiling. You know, if you look up in an unfinished basement or attic, you'll see those long wooden beams running across the ceiling. Those oh, are joists. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Yeah. So some people think, you can just beef up those existing joists mm -hmm. to carry the weight of a whole second floor. Yeah, Ben calls that a uh, fool's errand. Okay, all right. And stresses that a new floor system is absolutely essential yeah. for a safe and structurally found addition. It's good to have someone who's not afraid to be blunt about these things. He uses very colorful language to get that point across. Yeah, it's easy to get swept up in the excitement of adding space, but you don't want to cut corners when it comes to safety. Exactly, exactly. And Ben's hands-on experience as a builder really shines through here. He knows what works and what doesn't, and he's not afraid to call out bad practices.
So we've got this incredible system that allows you to stay in your home during construction, a focus on structural integrity and safety, and an architect who's not afraid to get his hands dirty. This is already shaping up to be an insightful deep dive. Oh, and we've barely scratched the surface. Oh, I love it. In the next part, we'll delve deeper into Ben's live design session, his market insights, and his unique approach to blending design with practicality. Ooh, can't wait. Yeah, you're not going to miss it. See you in part two. Welcome back to our deep dive into second story living. We're getting this behind the scenes look at how Ben Stout designs and builds these amazing additions. And I gotta say, I'm already impressed by his like practical hands-on approach. Yeah. What really struck me in this YouTube live video is how Ben doesn't just focus on the design. Right. He's also really savvy about the financial side of things. Yeah. You know, he's thinking about property values, return on investment, and making sure his clients are making, you know, smart decisions. That's so important. Uh, it's easy to get caught up in the dream of more space and forget about the financial realities. How does he bring that into the design process? Well, he actually encourages his clients to think about their long-term goals for the home. Okay. You know, are they planning to stay there for a long time? Is this their forever home? or are they thinking about selling in a few years? Uh -huh. Those answers really influence how he approaches the design and the budget. So it's not just about adding square footage, it's about making sure that square footage translates into actual value. Yeah, so. exactly. He wants to make sure his clients are getting a good return on their investment, especially in areas where construction costs can be really high. He even shares an anecdote about some clients in the Bay Area okay. who were willing to invest in a second story even if the appraisal didn't fully justify it. Because for them, it was about creating their dream home, even if it meant spending a little more than they might recoup in a sale. That's right. They were thinking about the emotional value, right. the quality of life, not just the bottom line. Right. Right. And I think that's a really important point for anyone considering a major renovation. Totally. A home is so much more than just an asset, right? It's where you create memories. You build a life. Yeah. Sometimes those things are worth more than a dollar figure. But speaking of dollars and cents, I'm curious about the costs involved with this uh, another story system. Is it more expensive than a traditional second story edition? That's a question that comes up a lot in the live chat. And Ben's pretty transparent about it. Okay. He says the cost can vary widely depending on uh, the size and complexity of the project, yeah. the materials used, and the local labor market. Right, right. So there's no one-size-fits-all answer when it comes to budget? Nope, nope. But he does say that his system is often more cost-effective in the long run. Okay. Because it minimizes disruption to the homeowner's life. Uh-huh. You know, you're not having to move out, pay for temporary housing, eat out all the time because your kitchen is out of commission. Yeah. Those expenses can really add up. That makes sense. It's like a hidden cost that a lot of people don't think about until they're in the middle of a renovation. Yeah, yeah. So you're saving money on those indirect expenses, but you're also getting the benefit of staying in your home. Exactly. And for families with kids or pets or just, you know, busy lives, mm -hmm. that can be a huge advantage. Now, one question that popped into my mind while I was watching the video, could you use this system to add like a third story? You know, like, could you build on top of the second story that you just built? I'm glad you asked that. Yeah. It's actually something that comes up in the live chat, too. Yeah. Um, ben says it's structurally possible to keep building upwards, but the biggest hurdle is usually zoning regulations. Ah, so even with this, you know, innovative system, there are still real world limitations. Definitely. Most cities have height restrictions for residential buildings. Uh -huh. So you'd have to check with your local building department to see what's allowed. And even if it is permitted, adding a third story would obviously add complexity and cost to the project. Mm -hmm. Right. It's like a real life game of Tetris. Exactly. You know, you're trying to fit all these pieces together. Right. But you've got these like invisible boundaries that you can't cross. That's a great analogy. Yeah. And it highlights the importance of having a skilled architect like Ben yeah. who can navigate those complexities right. and come up with creative solutions. Speaking of creative solutions, one thing that really stood out to me in the video is how Ben uses the live chat to get feedback from his audience. Mm -hmm. He's not afraid to like admit when he's struggling with a design challenge right. or to incorporate like suggestions from the commenters. It's so refreshing to see that level of transparency and collaboration. Right. He's not like this untouchable expert. No. He's someone who's constantly learning and refining his craft. 
And it makes the whole experience so much more engaging for the viewers, too. You feel like you're part of the design process. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And it leads to some pretty hilarious moments, too. Like when someone in the chat brings up Chester Copperpot from the Goonies. Yeah. And Ben just goes with it. That was classic. You could tell he was genuinely enjoying the back and forth with his audience. Yeah. It makes him so relatable. Absolutely. And I think that's what makes this YouTube live video so compelling. Right. It's not just about the technical aspects of, you know, building a second story. It's yeah. about the human element, the humor, yeah. the shared passion for creating, you know, amazing homes. It's like we're getting a glimpse into Ben's world, his process, his personality. Right. And it makes you want to, you know, grab a sketchbook and start designing your own dream home. Totally. But before you do that, we've got one more part of this deep dive to go. Oh, man. I'm excited. In the final segment, we'll zoom in on some of the specific design elements and construction techniques that make Ben's system so unique and effective. Stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. All right, we're back for the final part of our deep dive into second story living. We've covered so much. I know, right? Ben's innovative construction system, his savvy financial advice. Uh -huh. Now let's get into like the nitty gritty of how this another story system actually works. One of the things that really impresses me about this system is how it, you know, minimizes disruption to the yeah. homeowner's life. They're not dealing with a gaping hole in their roof or dust and debris flying everywhere. I was just thinking about that in the video. Ben's team is building this entire second story structure on top of the existing roof. Right. Almost like they're creating a giant protective cocoon around the house. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And once that new shell is complete and weather tight, they carefully remove the old roof from underneath. It's a seamless transition that keeps the home protected throughout the entire process. It's brilliant. And it seems like it would also address a major concern for anyone who's ever lived through a renovation. All that dust and debris. Oh, absolutely. Because the construction is happening above the existing ceiling, there's much less mess right. infiltrating the living spaces below. It makes the whole process significantly less intrusive for the homeowners. Okay, so we've got this new second story shell built on top of the old roof. What happens next? How do they actually connect it to the existing structure? That's where the uh, real engineering magic comes in. Okay. They carefully remove sections of the old roof and then seamlessly tie the new framing into the existing walls and foundation. So it's not just about building on top, it's about integrating the new structure with the old. Exactly. And this is where Ben's expertise as both an architect and a builder really shines through. Yeah. He understands how to create a structurally sound addition that blends seamlessly with the existing home. He mentions in the video using a combination of traditional framing techniques and prefabricated components. Can you explain what that means? Sure. Traditional framing involves building the walls, floors, and roof on site using individual lumber pieces. Okay. Prefabricated components, on the other hand, are pre-built sections like wall panels or roof trusses that are manufactured off site and then delivered to the construction site. So it's like a hybrid approach that combines the best of both worlds. Exactly. It allows for customization okay. while also streamlining the construction process. Gotcha. They can use pre-engineered elements for things like the roof structure right. while still tailoring the design to meet the homeowner's specific needs. Makes sense. And I imagine it also helps to speed up the construction process too. Absolutely. And a faster construction timeline generally translates to lower costs for the homeowner. Now, one question that I'm sure is on a lot of listeners' minds, how long does this whole process typically take? That's something that Ben addresses in the live chat. Okay. He explains that the design phase can range from a couple of months to several months. Yeah. Depending on the complexity of the project and how quickly the homeowner makes decisions. Right. And then there's the construction phase. Right. He estimates that the construction itself typically takes several months as well. Yeah. Again, depending on the scope of the project. So we're talking about a significant investment of both time and money. Absolutely. Yeah. But... As Ben emphasizes throughout the video, it's an investment that can pay off in so many ways. Right. You're not just gaining square footage. Mm -hmm. You're enhancing your lifestyle, mm -hmm. creating your dream home. Right. And potentially increasing the value of your property. And let's not forget the emotional value of having a home that truly meets your family's needs and aspirations. That's something you can't really put a price tag on. Couldn't agree more. You know what I find so inspiring about Ben's story? Yeah. Is that he's not just building houses. He's empowering homeowners. Yeah. 
He's sharing his knowledge, uh -huh. his passion, and his unique approach to design and construction. He's demystifying the whole process and making it accessible to anyone who's ever dreamed of creating a more beautiful and functional home. Exactly. And I think that's a powerful message for all of us. Yeah. Don't be afraid to dream big when it comes to your home. Uh -huh. Explore the possibilities. Do your research. Yeah. And find a trusted professional who can help you bring those dreams to life. Because as Ben so clearly demonstrates, the rewards can be truly life-changing. Well, with that inspiring thought, we're going to wrap up this deep dive into second story living. We hope you enjoyed this journey as much as we have. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep dreaming big.